Well, it was October 17th. Got the truck. Got a pond. And hopefully, I'm gonna get some fish. It's like 4.30 right now. Uh, got a little bit later start than I was hoping for. But I had some homework to take care of. And wow, this pond has been very low lately. Uh, this is the pond that I've almost gotten kicked out of a couple times. And the video, I think like the two MTV, MTV Slam videos that I posted a couple years ago. And I've caught some pretty big fish out of here. So, I've just got a spinner bait, a square bill, and a fluke. Three textbook uh, fall baits. That I'm gonna give a give a go here. So, let's hope I don't get kicked out. Hopefully I'll, I'll get in some good fish. And it's windy, so that'll probably be a bummer too. Yes, windy. I'm thinking spinner bait. And it's muddy. I already got one. Holy cow. Well, I wish it was always that easy. First cast, first fish. Jeez Louise. This fish is cold as heck too. My God, that was so easy. Like, I literally casted it no far than that stick. And I don't know how to use an iPhone 11. But that is hilarious. I thought I was stuck on the stick. And he ate the regular hook too. Didn't even get the trailer hook. Well, that looks like a promising sign for this afternoon. So, about a pounder. But, promising. That was on the white double willow, pepper shad, booyah. Not double willow, I mean tandem. Uh, tandem on my, my frogging rod, actually. So, with that in mind, I think I'm going to throw the spinnerbait a little bit. Because it seemed to work alright. And I haven't posted a video since Snap Bucket. So, I need to get back on to that. If what happened... I think what happened just happened. Yeah, there goes... There goes the spinnerbait. Goodbye, skirt. I have a whole bunch of my card, but I don't feel like getting them. So, I'll move on to... The... This is a Bandit 100 in bluegill color. On an Abu Pro Max with 30 pound braid and I think like a 20 pound floral leader because this this was my uh, my rockfish rod and I haven't had any time to switch my stuff out. So I'm rocking the, the 20 pound floral. And this is probably not gonna work because it's not that deep. This side of the pot is way too shallow for the fluke. Or for the spinner bait. No, for the square bill crankbait. You can tell I'm a little tired. So I'm gonna move on to a third very good producing fall bait, which is a fluke. Uh, I got a little beefier hook on here because I like the weight and the screw lock. This is a super fluke. I think it's like five inch, four inch, whatever. And uh, Bass Pro Shops Frigate, Pen Battle, I think it's a 2000. And uh, 20 pound braid, I think like a, no, this is 15 pound braid and a 12 pound floral leader. Very subtle. Just gonna twist this around the shoreline and see if a big one doesn't just slurp it up. There he is. Wow, we have gone the wrong way. We have gone entirely the wrong way. Whoa, these fish are freezing. Oh my god, I wonder what the water temp is. But yeah, it's about half the size of them. That's what one thing I really like about bass is they're so voracious. Like they'll they'll eat a bass like that'll 100% try to eat a 12 inch worm, which which is cool. And high tree, yep, that's that's stellar. That's quite ideal. Shoot. Yeah, I just popped that off, and I should have brought my backpack down here with me. What the? So I'm going to go get my backpack and maybe tie on like a fish head spin or something of that nature. See if I can't pull another one out. Maybe an unlock would be appropriate. I'm also going to switch out to save the Ultra Boost and go to the Extra Tufts. Probably a good idea. Ew. I'm going to need to clean my car. Alright.
bag acquired. Excellent wind. It's a little fourth ounce fish head underspin with the Kai Tech on it. Put that on the Abu instead. Give me a little bit more range and uh, be able to go in some of the more shallow water. And these fish love the fish head spin during the fall. It's one of their favorites. Anything with a little spinner on it, that tail kicking around. Money, money in the fall. Hopefully the fish thinks so too. There he is. Good fish. Hit it on that little pause. That is not a good fish actually as it turns out. <laughs> But look, look how this fish ate it. Freaking inhaled it. Look at that. That's how voracious these fish are. And I'm just gonna take a minute and show you how healthy these fish are. My God. These are definitely some of the best. Bright red gills, beautiful color, dark green, no punctures on the lips. Absolutely beautiful fish. And this is just with that swing impact. I put a heavier one. I want that tail thumping around a little bit more. And I've had this fish head for like four years. And it's caught me like tons of fish. Fish head is, whenever I go to a pond, if it's like this conditions wise, about, about the same everywhere, no real leaf cover. I just fan cast the area with every bait. Of course, like, not like a top water in the middle, but just throw it out there as far as it can go. Let's sink a minute. Let's do a steady retrieve. Twitch it if you want. I was like kind of slowing down and speeding up when that guy hit it. You probably watched it slow down and came shooting up and uh, sucked it right up. But that's just how to how I pond fish. There's nothing nothing really technical. Just just a good old fan cast. If, if I'm out on the lake, I'll be a little more technical. Target certain areas and uh, throw baits accordingly. But when I'm just banging it up like this, it's just fun to try out as many baits as I can just to get familiar and then I can translate these skills that I learned on how to fish them out into the, the lakes and the bigger bodies of water where it'll count. Just just my little tip. There he is. Look at that. Fish head spin is just getting it done. And <laughs> I think this fish is even smaller. Look at this poor guy. Wee! Come on, buddy. But oh my gosh, they keep just 100% trying to suck it in. Like, look at that. So cool. And again, really healthy. See you, buddy. Sun's starting to come out, so I'm glad uh, spinner bait's probably not the best idea now. So that's gonna switch off to this. Oh, I thought I had another one. That would have been epic. I caught a really big fish here three years ago, back when all that was underwater. I was throwing a, a frog on a spinning rod. I was throwing it on a spinning rod so I could like launch it without backlashing. But. I think I'm going to switch out this fish head for more of a finesse type approach back in the shallow water. So what will that be? I don't even know what I have. I've got some hard baits. I've got some miscellaneous. Uh, what do I have rigged up? I've got a tube. Tube. Shaky head. Craw, another shaky head, meh, nah. jig, spinner bait, not a frog. I don't know. Something on a spinning rod. And then that's just hard baits. Now I wonder if I have flukes. Or a lizard. I'm about to throw a lizard back there and see what happens. Oh, and I got one rigged up. Got the zoom lizard all rigged up. Let's see how he looks. Oh yeah, one will suck that right up. 
100%. In clear water, watermelon, and, and probably just watermelon is my favorite. I was going to say green pumpkin, but green pumpkin is good in some circumstances. Like when I'm, I'd rather fish a green pumpkin crawl than a watermelon crawl. But I'd rather fish a watermelon wacky rig than a green pumpkin wacky rig trick worm. Oop. But just because the for me the green pump or the green pumpkin's more opaque. And when the sun's hitting it like it is now, the watermelon just like gets fluorescent. Which I think helps the bite. It is like 515. So not a bad 40 minutes, four fish. Uh four for five. Never ended up getting that last one, but so bees. Still a really good day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get out more and more before the season ends. I've just been so busy with school, but I had a little break from homework today, so I decided to get out of the house and try to come out and do what I originally always loved to do, and that's fishing and making videos. So once again, I appreciate you all watching, and. Uh, Catch you guys later.